what up what up what up we are finally here at chapter six um it feels good man uh <laughs> i i just want to say a little bit i i recorded something that was way too long earlier and i was like and i found out it, it recorded but it didn't record on the mic that this mic right here it recorded on the rough uh the camera mic so i was like i could use that and then like you know make it sound cleaner or i could do another short much shorter uh intro and then just use this so uh uh we wrapped up part five i didn't really wrap it up because i got that call at the end and i had to go somewhere but uh i'm very excited to see what's left because if i'm going off the achievements that i got it seems like jay's story is wrapped up with the girl Sharon and um, the the sh uh, Dave, I think his name is Dave. Some of the uh, the shit, the corrupt sheriff's cousin. That achievement implied that they got away and they're off living tropical. So I'm interested in I'm interested in seeing who's left because I'm hoping that's not it. Like I want to see some more drama, <laughs> like like on the way to Canada with Jay and you know you know, but. Whatever it is, I'm sure it'll be great. So this will be the wrap up. Um, uh, and I'm just I'm I'm proud right now because like this is my first. This is like my first. Uh, this is like my first let's play that I'm like I'm completing because all my other videos are either they're like you know game funny gameplay edits and multiplayer montage type things or they're like funny anime edits and that's where i got most of my subscribers because that's like my biggest video that i took advantage of so um the the other times i attempted like a let's play with cyberpunk and would tell me why it was just it was it, like i would do all the effort edit for like an hour <laughs> i would leave my computer on and render all night uh <laughs> six seven eight hours to render like a one hour video just to upload it and get like four views uh <laughs> and i didn't have a camera so i was like you need a camera to really do this and i was like yeah so i i completely just gave up on those i'm like the effort was not matching the output when i could make i could do like a a five minute edit and make like a little tiktok style short for youtube shorts and I can get a thousand views off of like, you know what I mean? So that's a lot of what happened. But um, thanks to some motivation from a friend and, you know, just realizing I could do, I could do both. I could do my let's, I could do both let's plays and I could do my traditional funny edits, shorter videos, multiplayer stuff. Because multiplayer will always be my bread and butter. I'm very competitive. So... I'm just proud to finally get, you know, this, you know, notch on my belt for, uh, you know, recording. I got a camera. I got my face on it. I, I think I did a decent job commenting. Please let me know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Since this is the last one in the video, smash the like button. Hit that subscribe if you haven't. I just looked at my stats. It's like 40% of y'all watching this these videos right now and you're not subscribed. So please do that. And um, and leave a and definitely leave a comment if if for no other video no other part in this video or this, this series, do it for this video. Let me know like how you like the story, uh, how you think it compares to like um, Heavy Rain or just anything in the genre. Detroit, you know, Until Dawn, those type of games, well, Walking Dead, all the Telltale games. Uh, just let me know. Let me know how you liked. Uh, my commentary, what you what you liked that I did, what you didn't like that I did, what I should do more of, what I should do less of, uh, what you might like to see me play next. That's another good one too. But anyway, I, I'm 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 talking too much again on what was supposed to be a much shorter <laughs> intro, but it's like four or five minutes less talking than my last one, so I'm gonna stop right now and give y'all what y'all been waiting for, part six. Look at
Last time I hear this song. One last time. Everybody's got a little home in the middle. Everybody does a little dance with the devil. <laughs> oh, man, I'm stupid. And everybody's got a little hole in the middle. Everybody does a little dance with the devil. Oh, wait, I'm like, what? And you know I'm even there. Ooh. This might, we might be in the present or the future. Just loading the screen. All right. <clears throat> yeah, she went through a lot that night. to say shit it's like a J just okay? appears in a pool hella years later I beat my record but Jay shouldn't be traumatic to her he was like helping her Forget something? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks. Aren't you in the undergraduate journalism program? I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, yeah. I haven't been coming to lectures much. What outcome Not did really I choose? It. Oh. That made that happen. Right. Look, that thing you were doing in the water. Can Trying I ask what drown. it's about? <laughs> Holding your breath like that? Some people meditate. I sink to the bottom of the pool. One of these days, I'm going to get to two minutes. Wow, that sounds intense. Why do you do it? It's the only place I get any peace. Oh, that's... I should be getting home. Look, it's just... So, I had a friend in middle school. She was, like, infuriatingly perfect. Top of the class, captain of the soccer team. And one day, we're all on this field trip, and boom, she disappears. Gone. We then... <laughs> I just... No, she'd have felt better if she knew there was someone ready to listen. Jesus. D did you just see that? Hmm? The guy in the hoodie? I don't see anyone, but the Lord works in mysterious ways. Thing of it's all in the present. Is this the present? 
Okay, I was about to say. <laughs> I'm like, y'all y'all still look like some badass teenagers. So, I talked to Mima. What? When we were changing the license plate, I called to check on her. Did you tell her any... No, no, I just wanted to hear her voice. Are you sure you're up for this? Huh? Hiking over the border? <laughs> I hate hiking. But, hey, guess it's time to be flexible. I was about to say, like... I'm gonna be a wanted criminal now. You're not a criminal. He's, he's a, he's a natural, like, you know, survivalist. Like, he hunts and, and lives in the woods. Like, he, that's his element. He's fully prepared to just live in Canada, live in the woods, and hunt and fish. And I'll build a cabin or something and just live there the rest of his days. <laughs> I'm like, this girl, are you, you're not about to do all that. I mean, I guess you don't really have to if you're with him. Are you ready to like live that kind of life? No, you're just helping a friend. Did you watch the OJ trial? The what? <laughs> OJ Simpson? All-American football player accused of murdering his wife because she's screwing some waiter? I don't really watch TV. Huh. Well, the point is, nobody's what they seem, you know? Like, <sighs> what are we capable of? Are we all just killers waiting for our switches to get flipped? Wow. Mm, nah. What about kindness? We're capable of that, right? See? The world needs more people like you. <laughs> Criminals with a heart of gold. More on the manhunt for the Desert Dream Killers who first robbed the Two Rock County Sheriff's house, then took shelter at a motel that turned into the scene of a- Wait, was that you? Yeah, but I don't want to hear. I do. Describe Jay Holt as an awkward, quiet high school dropout. Ugh, they say it like dropping out's a crime. Holt also has an accomplice, 16-year-old Vanessa Dorland, oh. who is assumed to be armed and dangerous. What? If you see either of these violent criminals, uh. please call 911 and make... <laughs> Did he say awkward? <laughs> Just making it sound all big. You're not dangerous. Neither am I. I just can't believe we're on the news. Let's just get to Canada. Okay? Yeah. Okay. I will be listening to every bit of that so I would know. If you know more about what they know, you're better off. I just know they're gonna get stopped by cops or something. I knew that couldn't have been the end. I knew it. Of like their story. There's so much more room for what can go wrong. Ooh, shit. Shit. <laughs> okay. Don't stress. We'll figure this out. Morning, you two. Everything okay, officer? Just running a sobriety checkpoint here, looking for any intoxicated drivers coming back from that River Palooza music festival. Were you there? No, sir. We're just passing through. Can I ask where you're coming from? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Wait a minute. Definitely not San Francisco. We were in Utah, yeah, yeah. Because we were originally in Arizona and then the hotel was in Utah. We were in Salt Lake City. We're on a field trip for our 
With our church. Our church. Which church is that? Right. Um, uh, LDS? You mm. know, the Book of Mormon? Uh-huh. Anyway, if I could just see your license and registration, you'll be on your way. This is not like a, a a big choice, but I feel like this literally changes what happens. Because you can't just say, oh, I, I lost my license. <sighs> Checking the glove box is always good. I can't go any wrong, any more wrong than like just saying you lost it. And then sure. if you have the registration, all you gotta do is say you're borrowing, like, I don't know. Where is it? Your uncle's car. Well, it's against the law to drive in Montana without a valid driver's license. I'm really sorry, officer. I'll need to run the plates. Wait, you should have a, don't you have a license? Dispatch, need you to run some plates for me? I thought you had a, I thought he had a license at least. Y'all, y'all driving a stolen car without a license at least? Cause I'm like, if you get the registration, you can be like, oh, I'm just driving my anybody's car, your cousin, your uncle. Montana, three, Papa, two, one, five, seven, Tango. Shit, he's gonna find yeah. out any second. You, you might as well speed off. What again? Well, can't you run it manually? We need to get out of here. Wait. <laughs> oh, I was so saying like, yeah, you need to, you need to just drive off, sir. But I heard that last part. He hasn't been having an issue running the plates. Look, I can explain. <sighs> Goddamn database is down again. There's a sneak peek of Y2K for you. All right, I'm gonna let you off with a warning. Next time, bring your license along for the ride. I will, officer. Go on, get out of here. That was the break of a lifetime. Cause even if you run the plates, or you can't run the plates, you still can like give them, write them up for the license. Why would you have a license? Organic coconut oil, shea Pumpkin. butter. Hey, Dad. How's okay the, the realistic uh, um, new plane? <laughs> Black oh, you're gonna love it. So much quieter than the old one. So, um, you okay? It was my birthday on Sunday, and you usually call. Oh, Dad. I'm sorry. It's just... The thing is, I... Don't tell me. Lecture's coming out of your ears. <laughs> I get it. So, how about I drop by campus tomorrow for lunch? That might be... tricky. Why? Everything's cool at school, right? Hmm. To be honest, Dad, I'm not sure the program's right for me. What are you saying? You're <laughs> dropping out? You've been wanting to study journalism since the ninth grade. No, just weighing my options, that's all. Zoe, your mom's gonna <laughs> flip. I know, but listen. You should call her. And then we need to discuss this together. <laughs> Zoe? Sorry. Uh, Dad, I gotta go. So is the school stuff independent of? Don't speak. Don't make a sound. 
sound. Like I want, like I'm wondering if it's like related. Like she just doesn't want to be in school because she's like, shit, has PTSD, or is it, are they separate? Where is the other bottle? I get the the trauma and you know the the you know all that, but why is she keeps it's like every memory is Jay. Why is it not like? I would feel like Jay is the one dude <laughs> who literally kept me safe and then until your dad showed up and the first thing he said to my dad was I didn't hurt her I promise if anything it will be that damn uh <laughs> it could be a variety of stuff she was in the car with the mom the the brother And remember, he's the and, and he's the one that let her out the car when she was scared. That's why I'm like, why why is like why is Jay the one like haunting her? You know, but I, I'm probably asking too much. Uh let's turn this light on. Damn. Really? Why is that in there? <laughs> that makes sense. <Ugh. laughs> I'll be thinking about the bus and the fire Jesus. and the bullets. <laughs> Not the one helpful guy. <laughs> that was nice. Tell me I'm awake this time. Come on. Think. Where did you put them? Am I seeing things? Who's there? Yeah, girl. Uh. Let's stay inside. Just because he was by the window. Like, if you go outside, he might do some window shit. If that actually is Jay, why are you lurking around all mysteriously? Like, <laughs> hello, hello. Hey, Grandpa. Zoe. I know it's late, but I could use a friend here right now. How is Grandpa still alive? What? Oh, uh, thing is, I, I, I've run into a little uh, situation here. What kind of situation? Mr. Walker. I'll be there in ten. It's like I told you, I can't have tenants damaging the building. And I told you, I didn't damage a damn thing. Mr. Walker, I really don't want to get into another argument. Oh. Hey there, Zussie, old boy. How are Sorry, you still alive? God you're here. Now please tell this woman I have a right to the quiet enjoyment of my own home. Huh. Quiet enjoyment? You... I don't know what I'm more surprised by. This, the grandpa, you were supposed to be dead 12 years ago. <laughs> and but the dog, the dog looks the same age as it did in 1998, bro. It's 2012. Dogs do not even live this long, <laughs> let alone look the same. Vandalized your front door. Okay, slow down. 
What happened? Somebody broke in and stole my wallet. Uh, no. Hmm. You misplaced your wallet, and you broke your own front door. Zoe, someone was here. I saw him lurking in the shadows. How far does he live from her? Did you get a good look at him? Was he wearing a black hoodie? Oh, uh, uh maybe I, I I don't quite remember. You don't remember because it didn't happen. Hmm. I'll tell you what did. Your grandfather wandered outside in his robe for the third time this month. When he realized he didn't have his keys, he broke the door to get back in. That is not true. I wanted some air, so I... I took a walk, and, uh, and I, I saw someone, and, uh, I, and then the next thing I know, I'm arguing with, with Shelby here. That's not even my name. <laughs> Zoe, I know this is painful to hear, but your grandfather is declining. He needs a nurse or an assisted living oh, home Oh, God or... damn it, I don't need assisted anything. We obviously have very different interpretations of what happened. Still, somebody will have to pay for that door. Don't you have some kind of insurance? It's his front door. He broke it. Uh. He pays for it. Uh. Can you believe that woman? Assisted living. <laughs> she sounds just like your parents with that crap. Don't tell Shelby. But I know I didn't break my door because I keep a spare key under the mat. You do? Isn't that kind of unsafe? You want to hide something where no one will find it? Stick it right under their noses. How are you doing, kiddo? Anything new? Me? I'm fine. Oh, you don't look fine. You look like you did back in high school when you thought you could cram for finals by staying up all night on triple lattes. How you been sleeping? Didn't have a bad night for months. Until the nightmare started creeping back. Now, I'm scared to fall asleep. Oh, Zoe. You seem to be doing so well. Did something happen? It doesn't matter. Oh. Seriously. So, what else? Still got your sights on the New York Times? Actually, I'm thinking of leaving school for a while. I told Mom and Dad. You can imagine how that went down. Mm, like the Titanic, I expect. I always thought it suited you, the investigative journalism thing. Digging around in other people's business, telling the world how it really is. I don't know, Grandpa. I just want to wake up on a beach somewhere. No one around. Walk out into the ocean and disappear under the waves. No, you don't. Take him on someone who's been a pro at running away. Wherever you run, your problems run after you. <sighs> Hang on. Where's my tablet computery thing? Oh, no. All these bastards. I got that for my 74th. Mind if I look around a little? Maybe I can figure out who stole your stuff. Be my guest. <sighs> Remind me, where were you when this guy broke in? Just down the hall, I think. Sometimes I water those petunias on the shared windowsill. I thought you said you were taking a walk? Oh, uh, I was. Grandpa! Or I was going to, anyway. 
No one got time for your crazy brain. I need to solve the mystery. All books, medical books. Is this all from when you were a traveling salesman? Salesman? Yeah, you told me you used to. Wasn't that your job? Kid, back then you could say I was a jack of all trades. I think the only real job I ever had was convincing people I was ah, someone else. You were a scam artist. <laughs> all right, TV stand. Grandpa, are you taking your meds? I don't like them. They make me fussy. Take your medicine, old man. Sure, but they wouldn't prescribe them if you didn't need them. You're gonna stand there until I take them, aren't you? Please. For me. Oh, all right. <laughs> Did he actually take Grandpa? them? Grandpa? Are you sure you didn't break the door yourself? How can I be sure of something I can't remember? This Have you never gone into a room, forgotten why you came in? Haven't you ever misplaced or lost something? You know I've lost plenty. I don't want to lose you too. Shelby's right. It's getting worse. You can't let it beat you. You fought cancer. You can fight this too. That wasn't the same. Places, dates, the school I went to. It's like someone's slowly packing my memories into boxes and none of them have labels on. Can you imagine how that feels? I guess that would be a relief for her. I don't know. Not having to think about the past. Some things are a blessing. You must think I made this whole damn mess up. Actually, someone's been following me too, I think. What? Earlier at the pool. And then tonight at my apartment, I, I thought I saw someone. But I don't know if it's even real. I feel like we're both losing our minds. Good God. Zoe, look. I know you went through hell as a kid, seeing all the terrible, terrible things you saw. And I know you sometimes think it drove you half crazy. Seriously, you don't need to remind me. I know I don't. But that's what I'm trying to say. I don't think you are crazy at all. Because if you were, how could we both be seeing the same thing? Grandpa? I thought you didn't remember. Either we're both losing our marbles, or... Or what? No. Oh, it's impossible. I need you to remember. Alright, that's reliable, a dog. the window. Oh, 
Oh yeah, you losing it, girl. Wait, why was she running that way? Why were you running like a guilty person? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, sweetheart. It's okay. I'm here. I was fine. I was fucking fine. And then one little trigger and bam! It all came roaring back again. Oh, the two of us. Me trying to remember you. Trying to forget. I don't want to forget. I just want to not care. How do I do that? How do I make the past leave me alone when I keep seeing it everywhere I go? I guess you just need to stand up and face it. <sighs> Look it in the eye and see this thing for what it is. If the past talks to you, you listen. And when it's done, then maybe you'll be free. Oh, he wrote her. Well, girl, you could have been rolling back. <laughs> Instead of chasing a random woman down the street <laughs> in the rain. I wish I had another layer on. It's going to be beautiful once we get some altitude. What's the furthest you've ever hiked? I did the two rocks of two rock once. <laughs> uh, don't laugh. It was hard. Come on. We got a lot of ground to cover. Tell you a secret? I've never left Arizona before. Tell me when I'm not about to collapse. I promise I'll care. Here. Herb, her, oh. I should have failed that one. Like, what would have happened when she just fell down? I really don't see her realistically. You'd be going a lot faster without me. Doing this. I'd be going nowhere without you. But then again, her life kind of sucks, and she's a criminal now too. So, oh, uh, teamwork. So she doesn't really have a choice in that matter, for real. I don't get it. I'm cold and wet. My legs hurt like I've been in double gym all week. And you're the energizer bunny, just <laughs> going and going. How do you do it? And hey, y'all have only been walking for like two minutes. <laughs> been doing this all my life. You've been doing it since lunch. <laughs> okay. Yeah, true. I'll get the hang of it. <sighs> My God, it's even more beautiful than I imagined. Sometimes at home, around sunset, me and my mom used to walk out into the desert and on a hot day, if there was enough haze, the sun would just bloom like a giant fireball on the horizon. Was it better than this? Just different company. Hey, you're bleeding. Shit. I didn't even feel this happen. Let me see. <laughs> there. That's better. I'm glad you know what you're doing. So, how do we get over the border? We're gonna have to swim. Won't it be cold? Freezing, probably. But it's good for you. Wakes you up. Way better than coffee. <laughs> ah. <gasps> get 
down. There's nothing creepier than Vanessa? seeing somebody stand. Are you there? It's me. It's Dad. How the f Dad? What are you doing here? Do you know? Do you have any idea who you run away with? How the hell did he find us? We're not even on the road anymore. We're in the middle of like the woods. He had no, there's, all he did was report us when we stole the car. And clearly since cops haven't found us and like arrested us for stealing the car, clearly, I guess it, they did leave it on the road, but I'm like, still. How does he, of all people, know where we... Man, this man is a super cop. His name's Jay. I know all about what happened at the motel, and honestly, I don't care. Vanessa. This isn't right. How did he find us? Right. If you know who he is, then you know he's a murderer. He killed cops, Vanessa. He's going to death row. You have no idea what you're talking about. Stay out of it. Nah, I definitely don't want to think I'm a killer. I didn't do any of that. They got the story wrong. Look, I don't even care. I just want my daughter back. It's never happening, Dad. That part of my life is over. <sighs> She's not gonna turn on him. We stick with plan A. Oh, Jay shit. Jay you are under arrest on the authority of the FBI. I'll admit, you nearly gave us a slip. That ranger at the entry kiosk earned his paycheck today. Now I got a whole team of federal agents here. Damn. So this is where it ends, Jay. I'm not letting you people send me to die. Have a clear shot. I'm a suspect. Oh. Unless he has a river nearby or something. Why are you just shooting? Bro. <laughs> it's one thing. It still was bad then. But it's one thing at the motel when it was like multiple armed people and, host and whatever. This is two kids by a rock. Clearly they're not armed. If they were armed, someone would have been, he would have been shot at one of y'all. And it's the dude's daughter right here. And they just shot at him. What? Bro. Unless there's... I didn't see how close they were to like, I don't know, like a river waterfall situation. Unless he has that. He's just going to do some shit like dive. I don't see how he, he, he survives this. But I'm sure he does because of this whole Zoe adult arc thing. Like... If he's not alive, there's like, there's they wouldn't be they wouldn't be building up what Zoe's going through if he wasn't, because apparently, I guess he her her wrap up has to involve him, so I'm gonna see how he escapes this because I don't think I can kill him here. He seems like too important to kill. I feel like a lot of other characters could die, but probably not him. Like he's like Vince, like they can't just die. But anyway. He is screwed. Come on. Did he run the same direction they're in? Let's go, let's go. Come on. Go, go. Come on, my mans. I don't think she's the one that trips, not you. Quick, in here. So they don't look, they didn't look to the right. I 
bigger. That's the only way you were getting out of the situation. What do we do now? Water's down there. The body of water. Past the lake. We gotta jump. Off this? Yeah. Vanessa! Wait! Stay back, Dad! You jump, you die. You'll never make That's it. That's very high. You don't know. Vanessa, whatever you think about me, you were my little girl once. Slept on my chest, walked on my feet. When is the last time you said you loved me? I'll give you a clue. It was never. Okay. I'm bad at saying it. I'm bad at a lot. After your mom died, I didn't know how to. I'd say left, you kids would go right. The more I tried, the more you both hated me. And then Matt went off the rails, and I... I know you think I'm a monster, but I do love you, Vanessa. If you say we can survive this, then I believe you. But let's just do it before I change my mind. He don't know. He's just scared. Oh, shit. That's one of those 50 50s. Because realistically, the smart thing, she she needs her father. She already, again, we've already established she makes, she routinely makes terrible decisions. And her dad is, yeah, he's like, he's strict, but. If she ever turns out to have like a stable and good life, it's because of him. And she needs that. She, she, <laughs> I don't even see her lasting on like on the run. Like, not only, like imagine they do escape. The FBI still knows where you went. They'll just contact like the Canadian border or what, like. Like, the dad speech makes me want to do the noble thing and jump without her. And that's what I would do. If we weren't on the mission to get the yams, we already told you. <laughs> and I, 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 I want to do this. This is what I would choose, but I, I'm very curious to see. I feel like this one will end up having more drama. And right now I want more. This would be the one I would do if I just like. This would be like my logical choice. So this would be the choice I would choose if I, if I only could have one. Or if it was the moral choice. This is the one I'm picking just because. I'm interested in, in seeing what happens, and also, all right then, on three, one. I don't want to do it without you. Two, we both wait. die. We both live. Dad. Yeah, honey. Tell Mima there's an extra pack of cigarettes under the sink. No, Vanessa, don't. No. Don't belly flop. That's what you're not supposed to do. You're not supposed to jump flat. Escaped the FBI and made it to Canada. There's no way, even if they survive that uh, drop. She is not swimming far enough to live. Are you sure like. this is the spot? It's not on the trail map. I'm good. Thank you. She went all the way here? What would have happened? Actually, I'm pretty sure Jay makes it no matter what. Clearly, there's no way for me to Whoa, like die. Easy. Roosevelt, what's got into you? Wow. Does he have a beard? 
Either I made it by myself or I made it with my girl. Don't speak. Don't make a sound. My God. Yo, he got some facial hair. Zoe. He recognized Hi, her. I wasn't even sure you got the letters. One a month, ever since March. You know you're still wanted by the FBI, right? How did you even find me? The post office. I had your P.O. box number, and they helped me with the rest. People are nice here. Clearly. Yeah, they are. You look so different. I knew you'd How'd you recognize up, her then? In my mind, you're still that scared little kid. To be honest, like, she doesn't even look like the little girl that was, like... Because I know they, they clearly got um, real actresses for those roles. So they clearly got a little girl you and look a older too. woman. Huh. More than I expected. Well, 14 years outside will do that to you. Hey, Jesus. come sit 14 down. 14 years in the world. I got a chair on the patio. And I promise, you won't need that pepper spray. <laughs> you like, girl. I mean, I guess it's not really true, like, complete wilderness. He does have this little cabin. I want to see what happened to his brother, though. Like, they never actually showed us. Is she not here, or...? Nice view. I used to think so. I've seen it a lot. It's so strange that you're here. Thought about you and your family so much over the years. So you said. In your letters. I tried not to think about yours. I was doing pretty good at that. Until you started writing. <laughs> oh. How Is did he get- still here? The one you ran away. How did how did he get Zoe's address to send letters? And when did he send them? Like was was she like a little girl he sent them to the family? Because think about how long has she lived with her family before she graduated high school and went to college. What like what like imagine he like were you was he mailing the letters to their house? Cause I don't see how that works. I don't. I feel like the parents wouldn't even let her see those. Or did he wait till she was older and then he just started like recently sending? Are you with? No. No, she's gone. I called it. I have a lot of <laughs> questions. About what was the point? And... Go for it. I don't have anywhere to be. Wait, what was the point of me? What was the point of the choice between jumping alone and jumping with Vanessa if she's gone anyway? Better yet, why was it a crossroads choice? Because those are really important. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm curious. Where's Vanessa being? Her name was Vanessa, right? Can I mean, I, I called what it. Happened? She was not going to last out here. We spent six years together. Six years? That's more than Me I and her. Slept outside when it was warm. Used to read books to each other by the fire. That's about six but years longer than I thought she would. In the end, uh, I guess she yeah. missed normal life. I think she's in California now. I'm just grateful for the time we had. Yeah, six years is like, a long time. Way, I thought she would give it like six weeks. <laughs> yeah. This would be a lie, even for like, I, I think even for him, who's like, built for this life, I think even he misses, uh, like, in just all these normal years, city life. You've never been recognized? I had some close calls in town, but you don't really know. You just feel people looking. So now I don't go far. Library, the market. That's, that's such about a bland it. life. You know, the world thought you were dead after you jumped off that cliff. 
We almost were. I blacked out when I hit the water. How did you survive? Vanessa pulled me to shore. Spent weeks on foot after that. That's so... I had some... I'm sorry, that part is so fake. She was out... She was winded just walking up the mountain. Two minutes of walking up the mountain and stepping over a log and she was... How, how do you... <laughs> Bro. You know how tiring swimming is? It's very tiring. Uh, and this is after you, you, they already were hiking, so it's not even like you were swimming after being fresh. And then, two, again, they jumped like belly flopping, like which is stupid. That's when you'll like break your rib cage because at that speed it'll feel like sl solid ground almost. If you do like a cannonball type dive situation, then you will probably would much more likely survive. But anyway. If he hit the water and blacked out, he would drown immediately. She's not, she would not have the strength to swim. First, that means they, they were underwater long enough for them not to see them. The dad was watching. So they had to stay underwater for him to be like, oh no, they died, they just drowned. Blah, blah, blah. So she, they, they were underground, somehow swimming, you know, undetected. They got to above water at some point. He is blacked out apparently, so she has to pull a. She already has to swim. <laughs> and her entire body that's not built for this life. I there was no way she was swimming to shore, on her own. And but she swam to shore, holding this grown ass man. He's not a grown man, but this grown ass boy. On top of her own weight. And she's swimming and keeping them both alive. Okay. I will. I will let my suspension of disbelief happen. Now. I just had to get that rant out. All right. Lucky breaks with the weather, but we only made it because we had each other. Do you ever hear from your family? Nah. Ma left the country. I think. Don't know where. Ma, you should never even wrote Tyler you. wasn't so lucky. He's on okay, death row so in Arizona. My pa and I sent letters a few times. But he said it was too dangerous for me. So that stopped yeah, it too. Is too fucking but dangerous. that's it. What's wrong with you? And it's just me now. And it's the brother that wanted you dead? I would be like, yeah, you wouldn't get a single letter from me. I don't remember you having a scar before. Oh, I used to explore a lot in the early days. One time I came across a bear that I thought was hurt. Turns out she had just had cubs. Lesson learned. And all you got was so, a scar on your face? Why'd you come here, Zoe? You said you wanted to talk. I said I wanted you to write. But you came. Yeah, you did a lot, but we know why. Why? I keep seeing your face. And my dreams out on the streets. And? And I knew if I didn't come look you in the eye. That you couldn't move on. If you want to talk about it, I might understand better than most. And I'm good at listening. That is true. He was the youngest. He was put in all kinds of bad situations that he didn't want to be in. That night, when you took me upstairs and the power went out. Do you remember? Of course. I was just as scared as you. Mm -hmm. You said, don't make a sound. And it's like, I've been holding my breath ever since. When all I really want to do is scream and scream and never stop. I was just trying to get you quiet. The cops were breaking in. I didn't want you to get hurt. I know. I didn't say it made sense. You know what the two of us have in common? We both got dealt a shitty hand and spent the rest of our lives trying not to fold. You and me, we're a lot alike. Uh, 
circumstances are alike. I don't know about them actually being alike. Maybe in some ways. Jay. Why? Why'd you start writing me? I told you. There's a lot How did he get her address? About. I need y'all to know. ask this question. But why me? You said you see my face at night. Sometimes I see yours too. All these years later. You'd think I'd be able to move on. But I never have. You must hate me. After everything my family did to you. happened here toward this end of the game this is clearly closure unless I don't see it she's not this type of person but I'm like what what could be so drastically different like she she her anger swells and then she like gets a weapon and tries to kill him or something but you came here for closure and the heal so Jay I won't lie seeing you isn't easy your family killed a lot of people. And you shot my dad right in front of me. He did do that. I've been afraid of this moment for a very long time. But... You also looked out for me that night. I can't pretend I don't remember that too. How can you be so forgiving? Does she have... Actually, she does have support. She does have her parents. And her grandpa. Because... He has no support. I've had someone to lean on. Who? My grandfather. He's always been there for me. No matter what. I he said him. nothing. He seemed... Except the girl for six years. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's him. The fact that he's still alive is still crazy to me. Are you okay? I mean, are you really okay? I always told myself I got dragged into it. That family's family, and I did it because but I was one of them. What if I'm wrong? What if it's who I am? Do you think I'm bad? Am I... Am I broken? Well, both of these are like the same thing. How is this a crossroad definition... Uh, choice? This is me telling him, no, he's not. This is me... Saying everyone's broken. To like... Make him... I mean, both of them are to make him feel better. So why is it a crossroad? Who isn't? It might be. But who isn't broken? Just look at us. Anyone who pretends they're whole, they're full mm. of shit. They're definitely far more broken people than, than like... It's a fucked up world, I guess. Unbroken people, that's it's for sure. It's a fucked up world. Oh, I should get back down to the bus stop. That's probably a good idea. Take care of yourself. All right? Sure. You too. The thing about shadows is can't escape them. You just learn to keep them behind you and look toward the light. Why are some of us able to grow and change? Oh, he, I'm guessing he won the lawsuit. Vince Walker flying suit. Hey. That better not be Bruce. Even when clouds have blocked out the sun. 
not Why do some of us find ways to endure? Piece of shit, brother. They're really in Belize? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> My man's got the yams! Others just wither on the vine. He really in Belize living it up. Oh man. I don't know the answers. But I know I'm done running from shadows. Nobody's chasing me. Nobody ever was. Hey, Zoe. Uh, it's Grandpa. I was thinking about our conversation the other day, about facing up to things, and uh, there's something I've never told anyone. That day in Two Rock, when I suggested we take the scenic route, there was a reason. I'd been there before, you see. Everything that came afterward, uh, does dream. All of it. I think it was all my fault. Please, you don't have to do this. Just calm down and get the season yourself, okay? Tell him he can have it. It's all in two hours. That's the ending? That's the ending? What? How you end the game like that? How you end the game with Grandpa getting shot and she walks in on it? That That's wild that he waited till he waited till 2012 to to leave this voicemail. Come on, man. What was he saying? He said um, he he had seen it before. I might I might I might look that up on the internet just so I can get like more some more clarification. Cause I remember there was the part. Um, what's his name? Recognized him. He was like, yeah, did you used to come here? You were like a traveling salesman, some, some. But why was he suddenly telling Zoe that? I might look that up just to get some more clarification. Maybe he felt guilt, maybe he feels guilty because he's, he just learned what Zoe had been through it before she went to Canada and how she feels. So then he's like, oh, okay. I feel like it's my fault because I had been there before and I suggested we go this way or whatever. And then right there, a stalker breaks in and, and shoots him? Why now, though? Bro, they making DLC for this game. How is that the end? <laughs> like what? How is that the end? She had just finally got peace and closure. <laughs> she finally was gonna have a good night's sleep, and she watches her gr and she gotta see her granddad freshly shot. That's crazy. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Oh, this could have went. This could have went all kinds of different ways. At least, well, not all kinds, but. <laughs> 
<laughs> tackle the innocent pedestrian. <laughs> I wonder what the, the alternative is to this. Because I don't remember making a choice. I remember her running out on her own. I also don't remember making the choice to actually like go to Canada. So now I'm wondering like what? I'm wondering what she does if she doesn't go to Canada. Well, let's look back down here too though. Uh... Oh, so there's a way you can't get tracked. I got tracked somehow. This could have went. I wonder what the other way. Oh, this is okay. This is when you don't get tracked. Damn, I'm interested in this. Maybe they stay together. Oh, because I was like, I don't know. I was like, maybe there's a maybe maybe on this path they stay together longer if they aren't tracked. I don't know. Damn, there's a lot of possibilities down here. I didn't comfort Jay? How did I not c I said all the comforting things. I guess I, guess I should have said you're not broken instead of we're all broken. Only 17% of people got this one. Um... Jay remained in Canada? That means there's a there's an outcome where he leaves Canada? Oh, I wish I saw that. That would have probably been a cooler ending. Vincent Michelle. We already know Vincent Michelle, man. I'm happy for my man Vince, man. Clearly he won the lawsuit because opening a flight school He's better off than he ever was working that job. <laughs> Michelle escaped uninjured. I wonder if she could have died. I'm, I'm glad I got the happy ending for Vince. He deserved that after her transgressions. Her trifling self. Uh... Okay, she's engaged to somebody named Craig. That's what I was... I was going to be really mad if she was engaged. Goddamn, Bruce. So. At least she ain't that... Wait a minute. Is there, like, a different engaged option? Like, she could be engaged to, to Bruce, maybe? <laughs> oh, that better not be the possibility. Actually, no. If obviously, if you make them work it out, that's probably this. Like, she's, I don't know, Michelle and him are still married right here. And then this is just their health and career. And then this is their, either they're together or she's with Craig. It's a bitch ass Tyler. Arrested, lovely. So I guess maybe he could die. I'm sure he could have. If Dale could die, he could have died. I'm mad that... Uh, I'm mad that Dale wasn't the one that lived, though. I just know he probably had a, a storyline with um, that Jessica girl. And it's Sharon's fate. She's sipping tropical drinks in Belize. Getting the back blown out by Paul. <laughs> Paul don't look happy at all, bro. Paul don't 
Paul Lloyd, he gonna call the police right now. Damn. I can't believe. Alright, so since the ending isn't in the timeline tree, I'm guessing what happens at the end happens no matter what happens with Zoe. Whether she gets closure, whether you go to Canada, that's just the end of the game. Uh, Walker survived the desert dream. So I guess... I want... I guess even Vince could have died? And Zoe could not go to college? Oh man. Some of these sound so drastically different than the other ones, yo. Like other games would be like, oh, it's, it's, it's straightforward outcome. Either this character died, this character progresses. This, this couple stays together, this couple breaks up. You know, you talked to him or you chose him, but this is like, I'm like, yo, <laughs> change the trajectory of her education. And how did I do that? Um, I'm just checking to see, yeah. Yeah, it looks like the the ending where he gets uh, shot. It looks like that's not even in the timeline. So, yeah, that it looks like that always happens. That's the ending. All right, man. Last time. Everybody's got a little hole in the middle. Everybody does a little dance with the devil. What is wrong with me? All right. Uh. And everybody's got a little hole. Wow. Everybody does a little dance with the devil. Wow. Let me just click this and see. What is this? Show the time. You know I'm even there. And you shout it loud and bright. Saying, Born in the USA. And you know So when you replay, you can replay from. I guess the sections get us replay at any part, but if I ever do replay this, I don't know if I'm, I don't think I'll record it, but if I ever do replay this, I think I would want to do it with someone in multiplayer, or I might just watch some playthroughs. We'll see. But there's a, there are achievements to get, so at some point I probably will replay it I, again. But I don't know if I would do like record it. If anything, I might stream it. I don't know if I would just record it, put it on YouTube. But because there's definitely man, it can go so many different ways. Yeah, I think if me and like a friend did a multiplayer on stream, that would be funny. That was a great game. That was a great story. And you know I'm evil now. And that ending though! Bro, what? This man lived all them extra years on borrowed time just to get shot. I'm I'm gonna Google. I'm, as soon as I get off here, I'm about to Google. Like, was there like a, a a little detail maybe I missed? Like, can we find out who the stalker is? Can we find out more about 
Was there a path that where you find out more about what the grandpa actually did? So where someone would hunt him like all these years later? I don't know, but uh, we did it. All done. That game was great. I'd say outside of let me see, what's 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 the best story? What's the best narrative in like one of these type of games? Dialogue based, choice based games. I'd say Detroit is up there, of course. Narrative wise, Detroit. I might, I might have, I had them number one. Gameplay wise, and like gameplay and plot twists wise. Uh, probably until dawn. Yeah, cause that had the gameplay and it's, it has like the horror element, which makes it like more exciting. So on that on that regard of storytelling, that's my number one. Then just overall. I guess in general storytelling than Detroit also. Just off narrative. But this, I don't know, this might be I might have this right there with Detroit. For like and when I say narrative, I mean like just the complexity. Like until dawn, I don't think it can go. The ways that it goes is just people dying. But Detroit is more than just people dying. It's like this character can do this completely different thing. <laughs> this character could be Martin Luther King or Magneto from fucking X-Men so <laughs> and I think this is similar to that like I have this Tops of Detroit this had a pretty um complex uh plot tree but oh man bravo good game and we're all done I'm not gonna talk y'all ears off I already did enough of that in the intro but um smash that like button like and subscribe if you haven't again I be, I see you I know I know which one of you haven't subscribed and uh and leave that uh what did I say leave a comment about just yeah any question talk about what you liked in the story what you what you thought was the best Part, how you feel about the ending? Oh my god! And just, yeah, let me know. All right. Uh, <laughs> as you can see, I I don't know if you can see, but it's brighter now because it's actually morning. I shall be going to sleep soon, but next game is 12 minutes, so I'll be up in the next day or two. Uh, if you're still here, you are really, really loyal for that. I thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Please continue to do so because I'm poor. Uh, <laughs> all right. See y'all later.